Welcome to this how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can benefit from the Navigraph uh, data in the Phoenix Simulations A320, which has been released earlier this week. The cool thing is, as soon as you install the Phoenix Simulations and you go to Navigraph, you have an additional tab, uh, which also contains something, right? Normally, if you go to this one, it contains the, uh, let's say the Aerosoft in my case and the PMG 737. And of course, also the uh, Navigraph charts in game panel and the cycle. But now it also has the external installation. Uh, I'm wondering, okay, what's the difference between uh, this one? Uh, because <laughs> I would say both the CRG 550 and 700 and PMDG, uh, I would say I would expect the uh, Phoenix simulations to be appearing also there, but probably there's a good reason behind it. So, how can you do it? Well, simply press install, right? And then it will install all the necessary updates. As soon as you did this, uh, you can use this one to update it. So let's now switch to Flight Simulator and let's see how it looks like. So Flight Simulator has started and that's important because that's one thing I forgot to mention is that you need to, let's say, install that add-on for Navigraph prior to starting Flight Simulator, right? Because else it won't work, but that's with, I would say, with all the updates, right? So uh, let's go inside the aircraft and then have a look. Uh, so what we will see here on the left side is the touchpad. The cool thing about this one is that it, uh, I would say it's secured by a touch code, right? So I figured out it's uh, four times zero as with, I would say probably with all, uh, all kind of let's say devices, uh, even your phone. And then you've got a few options. Uh, right, you can go to Phoenix, you can look at the departure and arrival uh, performance, uh, the pilot brief, the settings, and also there's an option to use the external device. For this how-to, we're focusing on the Navigraph one because that's the one we want to pay attention to. So if you press the option, it will go to this, and then you need to log in using uh, Navigraph. This is critical because if you don't do this, then it won't track it in the Navigraph app, uh, which you have installed on your machine or maybe on your tablet. So it's critical to go there. So uh, let me do that, right? I can't, I would say, scan the QR code <laughs> because I'm, I would say I'm on the same machine. Uh, so let me, I would say, shortly go to Internet Explorer or to my browser, not Internet Explorer, because Internet Explorer will be uh, not supported anymore uh, soonish, and then go to uh, Navigraph, uh, and then to the, uh, oh, the code option. So in the meantime, while well, I'm, I'm trying to authenticate, uh, I will explain you how it works, right? So what you need to do is you need to go to the website, then you need to log in using your account, then you can approve it, then it will say, hey, do you want to give permissions? Uh, to the Phoenix uh, Simulations A320 and then it will go back uh, to this screen. As you can see, there's now, I would say, it refreshed and it loads everything from here. So the cool thing is that uh, based on this, you can either define your flight plan or you can import it using Simbrief. So let's first look at the first option. So if you add the departure, right, you can specify the ICAO code. Well, in this case, we're at uh, skip all, uh, so you need to uh, push it in like this and then hit enter and now it has a uh, skipple amsterdam as the departing and let's assume that we're going for a very short flight and uh, go to rotterdam airport uh, and then press add or you can so this is defining the uh Departure and the arrival. So if you click here, then you can say, okay, hey, I want to see uh, everything or I want to see the start uh, or the start only or all the options. Uh, that's an option which I would say depends, right? Uh, the start ones are simply the ones which you put a star behind. Uh, by default, you will get all documents. But for example, if you're interested only in specific documents, then you can say, hey, I want to start this one. And then if you go to start, you will only see that document. So really cool. Can you also unstart the documents? Yes, of course, you can simply unclick them. Uh, the cool thing is that the reference documents uh, are, let's say the three, that the documents are divided in multiple sections. 
departure, ground charge, reference documents, approaches, of course, and arrivals. So in this case, if you want to know, okay, hey, how is this uh, app or what are the airport briefings, right? And then you can click on it as will be nicely shown here. The good thing is that there's also pencil here. Uh, so you can click it and then you can either make some notes uh, but you can also erase those notes. So that's, I would say, really cool. If you only want to uh, remove one uh, line, like this, this one, or only want to remove it partially, you can do it like that. And you can also, I would say, change the uh, the thickness of the uh, line which you're drawing, and also delete everything. Uh, change the color, of course, to a preset uh, number of colors. If you click again, you can go to the uh, manual, right? You can, I would say, go up and down, uh, day charts, uh, or night charge, right? If you're flying in the night, you probably want to, would say, limit the num or limit the light which is coming from this tablet, and then you can go to the uh, uh, night charts. Uh, also, zooming in and zooming out, of course, works, right? You can zoom in and out if you want. So this is how it works uh, for the departure airport and also for the uh, arrival or at the destination airport, I should say. You can also, of course, configure alternate airports. Uh, and also set up a route. So if you click on the route, then it will say, hey, please wait, loading the map. Then it will load the map uh, with your existing location. Uh, if it doesn't um, detect it correctly, you can switch it on. Uh, but by default, it will be like this. And you can also would say hide yourself or uh, zoom into yourself. Well, in this case, we want to zoom into ourself. And then we can simply look at the map, right? So this is where we are located. Uh, on the top of the screen, you have multiple options. You can say, I want to show the map, which is currently the, the case. I want to see the, hair, uh, the high airways, which are for the high altitude, and, or I want to see the low airways, on which will show a different map. And on that map, you will see all kinds of different things, right? You will see the uh, navigation beacons, you can see the other airports, and when you click on it, uh, you will hopefully get some information. In this, I was expecting to get some information, but it looks like that it's only viewing it uh, for some reason. So I was hoping that it would show some information here. So it doesn't actually show the route here, which is, I would say, kind of a pity. I would have hoped that if you would set it up or would add a three, uh, an airport from which you're departing and an arrival airport, that you also can define the route here. Um, but it looks like that you can lo or can configure the flight. Uh, in a different way and then simply load the flight in here you can still delete it so it's kind of weird uh, let me see how it works so uh, let's zoom in and also keep the tracking on maybe should remove the tracking uh, it doesn't look like to act to work on this, but probably that's there for a reason, right? As mentioned, I didn't read the manual, so uh, I'd say it's my own fault uh, that I uh, didn't read it prior to recording. But this gives you at least an idea how you can have a look at your map. And it shows the route here from A to B, although there's not actually the route it, which it's showing. And that's what I initially expected. Um, can you delete the route? Yes, you can still do. Uh, can you add, uh, let's say, waypoints? Uh, looks like that that's not possible currently, but maybe that will be available in a future version. The other thing, of course, what you can do is import it from SimBrief. And that's probably what most of us will do because SimBrief is, I would say, the go-to tool to plan your flights. And there you will have multiple options. You can see uh, already the departing airport and the destination airport are pre-populated, as well as the alternate airport in case you defined one. And there's also the uh, route, which you can see. And now you press this option, and then you will be able to see the map. So actually, it looks like that you really can't, I would say, plan the flight. But it could be that I'm missing something. But if that's the case, I will let you know in a future video. Uh, but at least importing it from SimBrief works, I would say, pretty well. And it also shows the map uh, nicely. Now, of course, if we did this, uh, then everything is fine, right? So you can still delete the, the map if you want, and then you're uh, good to go. So really nice option, I would say. Uh, gives you, I would say, a lot of uh, functionalities, uh, which you might like in uh, Flight Simulator, build in, say, iPad, 
Uh, the good thing is that you can also, I would say, get the content of the screen and then show it on a different device. Now the question is, okay, how can you leave it? Well, that's pretty easy. Go to the, uh, to the I would say, small pointer on the top, and then you can move to the different sections, including, for example, the settings, uh, where you can define all the stuff uh, over here. You can go to the uh, pilot brief option. Let me show what's shown in this case. You can import the uh, sim brief data, right? So you can also import it here. So that's also cool. And you can go to the uh, perf data and also, of course, to the uh, Phoenix uh, simulator. And probably this will show the website or something, or maybe the tool itself. Uh, the tool itself. So this is for those who don't have um, Navigraph. They can still import sim brief over here in this menu, but that will be shown in a different video. So in this video, we concentrated mainly on how to enable the Navigraph integration into the uh, NICE aircraft, right, in the A320 um, from uh, Phoenix Simulations. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about my new videos, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.